if you make presentation, that's great. But in reality, you know, the patient doesn't like this. <laughs> yeah. Just good to know, use or not, it's questionable. Okay. okay, so this is schema, how this crown and veneer was built. Of course. This is schema of internal stain. Internal stain technique always contain a cervical area. <coughs> always. You must to stain cervical area. It's critical. Because you need nice adaptation to the gum. Not like white crown and dark gum. You need you no know, fade adaptation, really nice adaptation. And then effect, mamelon, just tap a little bit for that. Crack line if you need it. Be careful with the crack lines. Patients pay so much money not for cracking lines. Yeah. Or <laughs> <coughs> okay. Okay, this is <coughs> this is a different topic. Um, uh, by the way, anybody work with the refractory models? Yes. Okay, good. One trick about refractory models. When you cast the model out of refractory, the dies out of refractory, you have two ways. Way number one, you made the gas in a burnout furnace under 1000 degrees temperature until silica and all this ammonia, bad stuff, you know, evaporate. Uh, the manufacturer suggests you to hold your dyes, your refractory composition, in the furnace for 20 minutes in temperature 1080 degrees. If we're talking about Nuri Vest. Okay. Okay. All procedure takes two hours. I suggest you 30 seconds instead of two hours. Take it. That's cool. Yeah. It's another secret. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Amazing for secrets. It's a tour. You glaze with that? Huh? You you glaze with that? Uh you can. You can. You can glaze. I can't because it's too stressful for me. To kill the crown just in front <laughs> of me. You know, like uh, it's you have to be extremely careful. You can do this. Sometimes I bake my internal stain with this gun. No furnace. Just. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another. So you understand it, but but it's slowly. How do I do it? Next slide. That's how I do it. Never burn, please. Never burn, burn the uh, uh, initial prep with the margins. Only tails like this. Okay. You start feel the ammonia oh. smell. <laughs> it will separate and dies done. They ready going to the porcelain furnace. Huh? So, 
can you do a combination or, or both or not? Because I've had a problem of degassing the dyes like the nori vest, the uh -huh. way they recommend. Uh -huh. And then it's like always degassing as I'm baking porcelain on it too. I feel like it's turning black. At the end, there's like stuff coming there out is of a, it. There is a two reasons why they turning black. Uh, liquid you use, water. Mm -hmm. It's contaminate. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with this. It, it, yeah. They may turn gray, is no problem. Okay. It's not really dangerous for porcelain. Right. Uh, also, it could be problem out of liquid you build up because they, it, it contains some organic elements which is burning out. But it's not really dangerous for, for porcelain. It's not affect the porcelain quality. So, another trick. Um, Another secret. Have you had a problem of having no rivest be like a kind of sugar cube, not very dense? The dyes in a, in a, in a box, in a pocket. In, in a no, like after you pour the mold and then you take the dye out, the dye is really um, like it's not very smooth. It's kind of like it's got pits and stuff in it. Yes. I always yes. have that problem with. Norivest. Always do you use pressure pot? Yeah. Unpress. Press, yeah. wait for a 30 second, and press. Release, yeah. release pressure. Oh, release pressure, yeah. Release I, just, pressure. I just put pressure in. No, no, no. Release pressure. Yeah. After 30 seconds? Yes. Air set. The, the pressure. Vacuum, vacuum mix? Vacuum. No, no, no. Uh, vacuum. Vacuum no, 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 no. Never vacuum mix. Oh, don't, vacuum don't bother. Better. No, no, no. Don't bother. Hand mix? Hand mix. Uh -huh. uh, if you know the. You need to know the consistency. So you can mix whole bag, 30 gram, with the six milliliters. Yeah. I suggest you not six, seven milliliters. Use seven. Yes, yeah. use seven instead of six. No. Now the opposite. They think. No water. No water. Never water. Like it. Only special very Yes, and uh, then you put in a pressure pot. Mm -hmm. or whatever pressure vessel or how it calls mm -hmm. whatever name mm -hmm. uh, actually so you're mixing on a mixer the rubber one yeah you're mixing on the yes, rubber, rubber it's it's like simple it's acrylic yeah. for, for acrylic mixture yeah. 20, small one yeah, yeah yes 20 psi you put it into the 20 part. 20 p, uh, yeah. two bar two bars two, bar, two, two bar. bars two bars you put in a pressure vessel make a pressure Mm -hmm. Wait, release. release. Mm -hmm. That is clean bubbles. Okay. Yeah. And so after an hour, then we can take the torch. Uh, after 30 minutes. 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you can torch. Yes. But before you torch, before you flame, what do you need to do? <clears throat> okay, because we need to create the layer on your refractory die for uh, veneers or for jacket crowns, we need to create the spacer, right? We need to put a spacer to be able, first of all, easy fit, second, space for uh, cement, uh, the, the bonding, right? So you have to create. The way Michel Manier proposed his way, he put the spacer, he duplicate one more time so all this process one hour one more time and then he used them as a duplicate uh, duplications to the model <laughs> that's okay you can do this i cannot i don't have time yeah so what i'm another way 